Do you like to try exotic meats, wear furs and go hunting? It is normal to the human nature to want and desire. We want to love and be loved. We desire security, family. Now there is nothing wrong with wanting and desiring, so long as the want and desire remains positive. When we want and desire more than we need, we move into another dimension, the dimension of greed. Human history is littered with man's greed. Greed for power, fame and fortune, slavery, war, famine, drought, extinction. The evidence is all around us. Do you know what a Liverpool pigeon is? I don't. The species was declared extinct in my lifetime, along with the pint island tortoise, the eastern cougar, the frumose and clouded leopard, to name a few. All these animals would still be here today if we had not killed them for their pelt, meat or horns, or introduced other animals harmful to the survival. Not that long ago, I watched a documentary about how we are hunting, uh, uh, hunting sharks for their fins and manta rays for their gills and other parts to be used for medicinal purposes. I watched as a shark was definned and then thrown back to the water. It sank to the bottom helplessly, unable to swim. I ask you, do we need to drink shark fin soup? Will we suffer if we don't have manta ray gills to purify our blood? Did you know a single fishing fleet could wipe an entire local population of manta rays in a month or less with little chance of repopulation as manta rays are slow to free to reproduce? Do you know what caused a dodo to go extinct? I would like to tell you they were eaten into extinction by Dutch sailors as that makes for a more entertaining story. But reality is little less glamorous but far more deadly. The dodo went extinct because they did not have any defences against the new and unfamiliar animals introduced into their natural habitat. They probably ate their eggs and now competed them for their food. And what about all this intensive farming we are doing? It is true that without it, it would be a lot harder to feed the world population. However, we have chosen the easy way out without much thought of the footprint we leave behind. Those of us that care about the fate of the planet and those of us that inhabit it are being shouted down and outvoiced by large companies and corporations. We, we return once again to man's greed. It is much easier to pump animals full of chemicals, to almost genetically modify crops to increase yield. But what about the consequences? Because there will be a backlash. Perhaps we can see it already in the rise in fatal illness and early onset autoimmune disorders. So it would appear our greed is so great that not only are we destroying the planet by plundering and pillaging it for its natural resources, hunting and displacing animals for personal gain, Breeding, rearing, and growing animals are the, uh, and crops at the, cross, at the cost of eco imbalance, we are also destroying ourselves. The irony of it all. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time we put a stop to all this. It is time we start to think the future, uh, beyond ourselves. It is time we start to think of the future. Sustainable fishing and farming is possible if we slow down and reduce our demand. The trick here is not to say no every time, but to say no sometimes. If you like eating meat, it is highly unlikely you will give up but you could eat meat less. For example, my dad used to eat meat regularly until my mum convinced him to eat less meat. I have been told by adults that diets often fail because they often demand they leave out all the happy food. Now, we all know happiness is a big part of successful living. I would hate to give up chocolate. I love it too much. But I could eat less of it, and chances are I would enjoy it more. I could stand here and go on and on about how the polar caps are melting and the sea level is rising and the planet is getting warmer. But you know that already. So all I would say is I would like to be able to leave a world for my children where they can still breathe in the fresh, clean air and swim in unpolluted waters. I would like my children to be able to see a manta ray, and I don't mean a stuffed one in a natural history museum. Thank you. <laughs>